Have you ever wondered about the oldest gold in the world, where it was found, and the mystery that surrounds it? Today, we're going to embark on a fascinating journey back in time, to the dawn of civilization when humans first began to shape the world around them with their ingenuity and creativity. Our story begins in a place that may not immediately come to mind when you think of ancient civilizations. Not Egypt with its pyramids, not Greece with its philosophers, not Rome with its emperors. No, our story starts in Bulgaria in a city called Varna. We're talking about artifacts dating back more than 6,000 years. Just imagine 6,000 years ago without the tools and technology we take for granted today, these ancient artisans were able to craft objects of beauty and complexity from raw gold. But who were these people? Why did they create these objects? And how did they come to possess such skill and knowledge? Let's dive deep into the history and mystery of the Varna gold. Our journey takes us back to October 1972 in the city of Varna, Bulgaria. In the heart of this city, a team of archaeologists was preparing for a routine excavation. Little did they know they were about to stumble upon one of the greatest archaeological finds of the century. As the excavations delved deeper, the ordinary turned extraordinary. The archaeologists uncovered a treasure trove that would rewrite history. This was no ordinary find, but the oldest processed gold in the world, soon to be known as the Varna Chalcolithic Necropolis. It wasn't until Dimitar Zlatarsky, the mastermind behind the Dalgopol Historical Museum, got wind of the discovery that the real excitement began. Zlatarsky knew he was onto something big, so he called in the experts. Mikhail Lazarov and Ivan Ivanov took the reins and dove head first into unraveling the mysteries buried beneath the earth. Now picture this necropolis, a sprawling cemetery with 294 graves, each one holding its own secrets. Many containing sophisticated examples of metallurgy, gold and copper, pottery, about 600 pieces including gold-painted ones, high-quality flint and obsidian blades, beads and shells. Some graves do not contain a skeleton but grave gifts, cenotaphs. These symbolic empty graves are the richest in gold artifacts. 3,000 gold artifacts were found with a weight of approximately 6 kilograms. Grave 43 contained more gold than has been found in the entire rest of the world for that epoch. Three symbolic graves contained masks of unbaked clay. The findings showed that the Varna culture had trade relations with distant lands, possibly including the Lower Volga and the Cyclades, perhaps exporting metal goods and salt from the Pravadia rock salt mine. The copper ore used in the artifacts originated from a Sredna Gora mine near Stara Zagora, and Mediterranean spondylus shells found in the graves may have served as primitive currency. The initial reactions were a mix of disbelief and exhilaration. The sheer volume and sophistication of the artifacts were beyond anything the archaeologists had anticipated. Their discovery challenged pre-existing notions of early societies and their capabilities. It was a clear indication that our ancestors were not just survivalists. Their culture had sophisticated religious beliefs about afterlife and had developed hierarchical status differences. The site offers the oldest known burial evidence of an elite male. Maria Gimbutas claims that the end of the 5th millennium BC is the time that the transition to male dominance began in Europe. The high-status male buried with the most remarkable amount of gold, held a war ads or mace and wore a gold penis sheath. Talk about going out in style. Bull-shaped gold platelets might also have venerated virility, instinctual force and warfare. Gimbutas holds that the artifacts were made largely by local craftspeople. As with any significant archaeological find, the Varna gold is shrouded in theories and speculations. Let's delve into the realm of conjecture and hypothesis where the lines between fact and fiction blur. The first theory we'll tackle is about the original owners of this golden trove. Many experts propose that the gold belonged to a high-ranking individual of the Chalcolithic society, possibly a chief or a priest, due to the sheer volume and value of the gold discovered. Another theory suggests that the gold was not used as personal adornments but as symbols of power or ritual objects. The intricate designs and patterns on some of the pieces suggest a level of craftsmanship that would likely have been revered and cherished. Now, why was it buried and forgotten? The most prevalent theory is that the gold was part of a ceremonial burial. The person, or perhaps persons interred with the gold, were likely of significant importance. The gold, placed with them in their burial site, was likely believed to serve them in their journey to the afterlife. 
Some scholars, however, postulate that the gold was buried as a form of ancient safekeeping. In times of strife or conflict, it was not uncommon for valuables to be buried to protect them from potential invaders. The fact that the gold was never reclaimed could suggest that those who knew of its location met an untimely end. The most intriguing speculation, however, is the possibility that the Varna gold is evidence of an advanced civilization that predates any we currently know of. This theory is fueled by the advanced metallurgy skills displayed by the creators of the Varna gold, suggesting a level of technological prowess that is astonishing for a time period over 6,000 years ago. While these theories provide some answers, they also pose even more questions. Will we ever definitively solve the enigma of the Varna gold, or will it remain one of history's most tantalizing mysteries, a golden puzzle that continues to captivate and confound us? Only time will tell. Today you can see these incredible artifacts for yourself at the Varna Archaeological Museum and the National Historical Museum in Sofia. So, the next time you're in Bulgaria, be sure to take a trip back in time and uncover the secrets of the Varna gold, it's a journey you won't soon forget. As we come to the end of our journey through the mysteries of the Varna Gold, we hope you've been as captivated by this ancient treasure as we have. If you've enjoyed learning about the fascinating history of the world's oldest gold, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more intriguing content like this. Join our community of history enthusiasts as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the past. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep shining bright like gold.